These are the Brainwaves uh, Blue 100s, uh, they call them, uh, Bluetooth headphones. Um, and include with the headset, um, like they do with a lot of Brainwave stuff, uh, they include a lot of accessories with the instructions. Uh, three pairs of silicone ear tips, including a, a set of comply, which I actually have on here. Uh, a semi-hard carrying case. Uh, and a cable strap uh, in addition to uh, a micro charging cable as well um, you know I've been familiar with the Brainwaves uh, wired headsets so I was really interested in seeing their first attempt with making a Bluetooth headset and to me this headset kinda has a lot to live up to as most of the Brainwave wire sets really have a lot going for them in terms of sound quality and comfort um, and for the most part I've not been disappointed in in most of their headsets um, and you know this particular set has the a flat cable kind of design um, with a three button control here on it um, with that's about four inches from the right ear piece down to the control which is pretty good the control piece has th three buttons here. As you can see, they're not marked very well to differentiate. There's some symbols on them, but they kind of blend in to the, uh, to the uh, black uh, plastic of the buttons in the casing. Uh, the control piece is, uh, you know, has the multifunction button and then the, the volume controls, um, along with the microphone. But there's also a very hard to find uh, LED white light that's actually kind of in the tip here uh, and I don't know how well you can see that because it really is hard to find it took me a long time and it's actually flashing now and you probably can't see it in camera but uh, there it goes it's very small uh, in an odd location it's very hard to see hard to find and it actually took me some time to even figure out that I had the the uh, headset even powered up because of that um, I, I didn't like that too much. Uh, it was actually easier to find the microphone port on this control than it was to find the LED light to show that it's powered on and ready to pair. Um, you know, so yeah, I found I had to actually have the the one of the uh, earpieces in my ear to actually know that it was powered up and ready to pair. Um, so I think they could have done a little bit better job with that in that respect. Uh, now the headset charged uh, within a couple hours. You, you access the charging port here on the with a little cover flap that's covering the end of the right uh, earpiece. Um, you get only about four hours of playtime though uh, with this set. Um, now since I have both now Apple and Android phones, uh, you know here with me, I tested the headset on both. Um, Pairing, once I figured out that it's powered on, on both phones had no issues. But one of my surprises with this headset, and actually probably a disappointment I would say, is the Bluetooth range of this headset was pretty poor on both phones. Uh, I ended up getting uh, interruptions and cutting out at about 10 to 12 feet. I actually managed to only get to the door of my room before the headset actually cut out, uh, which is less than most headsets in this price range and and again a bit disappointing uh, considering this is a you know brainwaves uh, set um, now this style of headphones uh, kinda sticks out of the ears a bit just because of the way they're designed um, so I kinda expected that with that but um, so it wasn't a surprise comfort level which has never been an issue with this brand was about what I expected, especially with the complier tips. Uh, the, you know, fit comfortably in, I, comfortably in my ears and didn't sit heavily in the ears. Uh, the earpieces are made of metal, uh, but I felt were fairly light in my ears, although some people may not agree with that. But I did find that if you use the ear anchors, that tend to help and help keep them in place a bit better than not using the uh, ear anchors. Call clarity on both the phones was pretty good on both ends as long as the headset's in the range that I talked about 
uh, earlier. Uh, and, and musically, with you know, Brainwaves headsets has always been where this brand has been good. And this uh, headset sounds okay, um, but uh, I found you know that this set has way too much in the high range, uh, especially at higher volumes, drowning out the mid range, and also lacks a bit in the bass uh, part part of this. Um, at lower volumes, the sound is more neutral and listenable, but uh, still sounds a bit high to me. Uh, and this is the first, you know, Brainwaves brand set that I actually found myself turning the volume down because I thought the treble was just too much, uh, at least for me. Um, the, you know, overall the quality of this headset build is good. And this is an okay first effort with a Bluetooth headset from Brainwaves. But the things that, you know, several things that really keep this from being a great headset. I, I really don't like the design of the control with the small buttons that aren't marked well and the hard to see LED light. Uh, one of the biggies is the poor Bluetooth range with this set and the highs being too high uh, in this headset musically kind of really hurts the rating of this headset. You know, maybe they, you know, they've set the bar too high with its wired sets, uh, at least in my mind. But I feel this set doesn't really match those in sound as designed as those wired sets do. This isn't a bad set by any means, but there is a, some room for improvement. Uh, you know, Brainwaves includes a one-year warranty. This, this is an okay set, not a great set. I give it three stars.